Shout out to Brown, Aaron. Enjoy your boy Money Brown. He get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? It's your boy Money back with another one, man. And this one here is on some big dogs in this fight game. We got Javante Tank Davis, the three-division world champion, the youngest, hottest fighter in the game, that Baltimore killer, that gorilla. Then we got Floyd Money Mayweather, the five-division world champion, arguably the greatest fighter of all time. We all know Floyd's the king of pay-per-view. And then we got Al Heyman, the godfather of this boxing game, in my opinion. And Javante Davis has came out. He gave out his date, December the 4th. Right, I want y'all to listen to what Tank had to say, and I'll be back with the great assessment family. What's your What's your date, Tank? What's your date? December the fourth. Oh, December the fourth. Yeah. You got, yeah. See, see, let, you're not, let, you're let, not coming to You're not coming to That's you're not exclusive coming to too. That's exclusive. Uh oh. That was the first time. Nobody. Uh oh. Dropped it live. I did. I did this. I did this on my bed. My bed. I called out. Let him know I was going live with Zed. <laughs> Fuck it. Go. You're not doing any camp in Vegas? So I can see Tank apologized to Al, right? Not Floyd, not Lena Ellaby, Al Heyman. And it makes me wonder, man. It makes me wonder, you know, is Tank and Mayweather promotion um, is on the same page right now, bro? Is they on the same page? I want them to be on the same page. You know what I mean? I feel like that match made in heaven. Once Floyd started putting Tank in up with the you know, the big dogs that everybody want to see them with, things of that nature. Now, we all know that Floyd and Tank, they always had their differences. But Floyd always, you know what I mean, always came back um, to treat Tank right. Let me say that. He always going to find a way, you know, to make it better with Javante Tank Davis because that's your fighter, man. That's the star on your fucking, uh, on your roster. He's holding it down Mayweather promotions right now. We all know Mayweather got a lot of fighters over there, but... Only one star in Javante Tank Davis. Everybody else, um, you know, it's like a building process. You know, he had a, a few champions, and Angelo Leo and um, Badu Jack. Shout out to Badu. I, 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 I fuck with Badu heavy. Um, Ishe Smith was one of his first champions. That was his first champion, if I'm not mistaken. You know, you got Andrew Tabidi, Kevin Newman. He got fighters over there. But, you know, the main fighter that he really focused on is Javante Tank Davis. I think that's noticeable. I think that's something that everybody sees. So I wonder if Tank and Floyd is on the same page. I mean, we know they they had a fallout before to where it looked like Floyd was trying to put Tank in there with, uh, with Lomachenko, you know, when, when you know, he wanted to prove a point or whatever the hell they was doing. But, you know, with Tank coming out saying, I'm sorry, Al, you know, I'm going to call Al, tell him I'm, I went live with Zab, I dropped the date, fuck it. It just shows you that... Um, how big Al is over Mayweather promotion and over the PBC boys. You feel me? Al Heyman is the godfather of this boxing game. You know what I mean? He's the godfather to me. That's why I think Canelo like working with him. You know, everybody else like working with him because one thing Al is going to do, he's going to make sure the fighters win. He's going to make sure the fighters win no matter what. You can say what you want to say about Al Heyman. When, it, when it's all said and done, if you're a fighter on his banner, to me, what I'm looking at and, and what I'm getting so far from Majority of the fighters, I'm not saying some fighters don't have bad experience with Al Heyman, but the majority of the fighters, you know, they, they get set up for the long haul and they're happy with Al Heyman. And I mean, they're happy. So with Tank and Floyd, you know, I'm looking to see, <clears throat> sorry, I'm looking to see how their relationship play out because that, that, that was kind of big to me, bro. For him to tell Al sorry and I say, you know, Floyd and Leonard, my bad, it just shows you that Al is running the show. It shows you that when Tank say um, Al is guy in his career, that is kind of true, man. It's kind of true. A lot of people get pissed off at Floyd Leonard LB. You know, it's Floyd Mayweather promotion. It is Floyd fighter. Um, he's under contract with Mayweather. So, you know, Mayweather is um, getting paid off of Tank, and he do got say so. But it's getting to the point now to where, to me, you know, Tank probably is over, um, not over, we're outshining Mayweather promotions. He's outgrowing Mayweather promotions. And I'm saying that he will outgrow Floyd Money Mayweather. Let's get that understood. We know Floyd right now is still, you know, the biggest thing that boxing seen in this era, right? But with Tank, is he outgrowing Mayweather promotions to the point to where he's like, you know what, man? I'm ready to branch off on my own, bro. You know what I mean? I keep that money in my pocket. I'm already a star. 
Thank y'all so much for helping build me up, get to, giving me where I am today. But all I need is Al Heyman. All I need is Al Heyman. I don't need nobody to talk for me no more. I don't need nobody to do this or do that. I can speak. And we all know that Tank going through his little legal troubles right now. So they can have a, a, a close hand on what's going on as well. But, you know, I don't need people no more to, to match make me. Al Heyman can do those things. You know I mean, Al Heyman can do those things. I'm big enough to be on my own. I'm selling out arenas. I'm Javante Tank Davis. Um, I'm a star, right? I got friends in every sport now, even a rap game. I'm linked to beautiful women, even women that's on their own, throwing their own thing now. So I bring a different element from, from a whole lot of aspects. You know what I mean? And that's what you call a superstar. You feel me? That's what you call a superstar. Javante Davis is becoming a superstar. Right on our eyes, whether people want to admit it or not. Whether people want to admit it or not, bro. When you start having stars coming out to see you, you start having stars retweeting your, your, your fights or you becoming close friends with them or they want you to wear their clothes and rappers and people like that, they talking about you and their music and, you know what I mean? You linking up to different celebrity women. It's like, you, you're a star, bro. You made. You made. Now, with Mayweather, yes, that Mayweather um, machine helped push him. You know what I mean? Floyd status helped push Javante Tank Davis. With Floyd Mayweather talking about Tank, helped promoting Tank, taking Tank to, to the U.K., um, over her, selling out Atlanta, things of that nature. It helped put him where he, where he needed to be to help um, make a store in this fight game. You dig? So I'm not going to make it like Floyd machine didn't help. But at this point, where Javante Davis is now, bro, um, he's a star, man. He's a star. And he don't need a promoter. A lot of people think Tank can't talk. Tank can talk, man. Tank can talk. I know a lot. Well, we don't understand what I understand what he's saying clearly. And, and the people who write him, they understand what he's saying clearly. Right? Tank got an aura about himself to where he can capture a room when he walk inside the room. You feel me? He can capture a room, bro. His style inside the ring is exciting. Him knocking motherfuckers out is exciting. That speak for itself, right? And doing a little shit talking to your opponents ain't never hurt nobody. You know what I mean? A little shit talking never hurt nobody. And Tank can talk shit. You feel me? Especially if you make that little yellow motherfucker mad. He really can talk shit. And not only that, he got the fights lined up for him. He got the fights lined up for him to where he can make a whole lot of fucking money in this fight game. A whole lot of money. And Mayweather and LB know that. You feel me? They know that. They know the opponents out there to make Tank money, but their job is to try to make him, um, no, no matter who get into the ring with Tank, make him a pay-per-view attraction. And I get it. I get it, bro. Knockout sales. When, you, when, you, when you're young like Tank, when you got the pizzazz, when you got the, the swag, you know what I mean? You got the look, you got the power, you got the background, you got the pedigree. You know, all that shit plays a part. All of it plays a part. So I know Floyd don't want to miss out on his ride with Javante Davis. And I don't think he's going to miss out. I think his contract um, got some minutes to where he's going to make sure he's okay. You know what I mean? We know Floyd and Oscar De La Hoya, they both learned from Bob Arm. They both was fucked over, fucked over by Bob Arm until they got away. And sometimes you do to others what's been done to you. You understand what I'm saying? Sometimes you do to others what has been done to you. So Floyd and De La Hoya, they adopted some of those, I mean, those um, Bob Earn ways. Whether they want to admit it or not, but they have adapted some of those Bob Earn ways, and some of those Bob Earn ways probably rubbing off in their contracts. You feel me? Let's just keep it trill. Even though Floyd was blessed with Al Heyman, you know, Floyd still is his own promoter. And he still have his own fighters. You did? And with Javante Davis being the hottest fighter that you got, and not just being one of the hottest fighters that you got, being one of the hottest fighters in the fucking game. In the game. And Tank will break a lot of people pound for pound list. Some people have him on their pound for pound list already. So with what Tank doing, man, if he stay focused, stay down, stay grounded, right? Stay grounded and stay grounded. Um, he could become one of the biggest stars, man, that boxing ever seen, bro. He can become one of the biggest stars that boxing ever seen. Now, this December the 4th, he's taking on Roley Rolando. A lot of people not really happy with that fight. 
A lot of people feel like you should be facing better competition. But when you look at the landscape of things, um, there's not that many p people out there to pick from. You know what I mean? Especially with other fighters being on other um, promotion companies and shit like that. The main fighter out there might be Devin Haney, but that fight not going to happen no time soon because of Floyd and how they moving. So the Roley fight, it ain't as bad as people want to make it out to be, but it ain't the hottest neither. And I get the frustration. I get it. Especially with Tank going on pay-per-view. So when I look at the situation after this Roley fight, they got to give us something. They got to give us something. The people deserve it. I believe Tank deserve it. I believe Tank deserves to show his skill set against um, the elite so people can see that he's the real deal, which I think um, Mario Berrios was a hell of a fighter. Leo Santa Cruz was a hell of a fighter, and I get Tank all the credit in the world for those fights. You know, people like to shit on Tank for those fights, but Tank get all the credit in the world for those fights. You understand? So we'll see um, after December the 4th, because it looks like Roley is going to be the, um, the name. We'll see after that, see what happens after that. But I just thought it was, um, you know, intriguing to see how Javante Davis said serve to Al and not serve to Floyd and Leonard Ellaby. You know, could they time um, be running out as a team? Like I say, do Tank want to move on? Do he feel like, shit, I'm bigger than you boys now? For us a promoter. You can never be bigger than Mayweather, but for us a promoters and a promotion company. You know what I mean? I don't need y'all now. I see how the game work. Al is, is bringing me along great. I could just work hand-in-hand -hand with Al Heyman and still make my money. I'm already the star. Right? Especially from 140 down. I'm the hottest thing smoking. And um, we'll see how these things play out. But with Javante Davis and Floyd Money Mayweather, um, I'm looking real closely to see how, how how long this relationship lasts. Like I say, I want them to work together. This is no shade towards Mayweather, nothing. But just looking on the outside, looking in, seeing Tank always talking about Al, saying Al doing this and Al doing that. You know, I just wonder what their relationship is like behind closed doors. Is it good? Is it great? Is Tank just doing what he's doing because he's under contract? And then after that contract right now, he's done? Or is or do he have leverage to get out of his contract now? So I'll be keeping an eye on these things, man. Like I say, Javante Davis' date is December the 4th. He came out, he dropped it. I feel like Tank will put on a hell of a show. It's going to be on pay-per-view. I'm going to pay for it. You should pay for it if you're a fan of Javante Davis. I know a lot of people go shit on it. But at the end of the day, Tank is exciting. He is one of the most electrifying fighters in the game today and that's to be respected man that's to be respected so shots out to tank go out there do your thing man and we'll see where your career go from here until then it's your boy money it's the nsbc moving ain't nobody safe in these streets hit them thumbs up subscribe to the channel you want to donate og money on cash app trey have to 52 at gmail.com on paypal if not just tell a friend tell a friend hit the subscribe button like comment share the videos and y'all know how your boy get down man big dog status family